Hey, Cape Girl, Patrolman Newton here. I'm gonna share some important information about online reporting. Online reporting has been around for quite some time now and several of you have utilized it. Online reporting provides a quick and easy way to report non-emergency, non-violent crimes without the need to wait for an officer. The specific types of reports that can be filed online include animal abuse or neglect, abandoned vehicles, illegal dumping, harassment, annoying phone calls, messaging or texting, forgery, fraud, trespassing, identity theft, lost property, theft, which includes retail theft, property damage to include vandalism, and supplemental reports. Remember, if at any time you prefer to file your report with an officer, online reporting is completely optional and you can request to file a report with a police officer by calling 573-339-6621 or dialing 911 in an emergency. Please note that cases of domestic violence, lost or stolen firearms are not self-reportable. Before filing a report, it's important to ask yourself two important questions. Is this an emergency? And did this incident occur outside the Cape Girardeau city limits? If the answer to any of those questions is yes, you should not use online reporting and should call 573-339-6621 or 911 if it's an emergency. If you answered no to both questions, you're ready to proceed. Go to cityofcapedrado.org. At the top of the page, you'll see Departments. Click on Police. From there, on the right-hand side of the page, you will see Online Reporting, where you will click on Report an Incident. You can start an online report, or if you've already submitted a report, you can click on Add to an Incident Report if you need to add further information to an existing report. If you click on Start an Online Report, its disclaimer will appear. Make sure you read the disclaimer and accept. At that point, you will be able to add information about your report. Please provide as much information and details as possible. Location, who you are reporting for. Is it an individual or is it a business? The type of incident you are reporting. Your personal information. Be sure to fill out all fields as best as possible. From there, you're going to enter the incident details the date that it occurred, and the time that the incident occurred, and a summary of the incident. Next, you will enter persons, enter as much information as you have about any people involved in the incidents, such as suspects, witnesses, victims, business owners, and a contact person. Next, you're going to enter property. Enter all property involved with your report, including any property that was damaged, stolen, etc. Provide as detailed description as possible. Now is a great reminder that if you have any valuable items, make sure you are documenting their serial numbers in a safe place. We also have a link on our website to Report It, which is a free online service that allows you to record serial numbers and upload images of valuable items. The next field is firearms, and at this time you're not able to upload reports about firearm online. After firearms, you can enter any vehicles, provide all information regarding through the vehicles that were involved in the incident. You can also include attachments, attach all records associated with the case, such as bank records, statements, receipts, text messages, etc. The last portion is review. Make sure you review your report for any errors or corrections that may need to be made prior to submitting the report. After you've submitted your report, you should receive an email notification with a temporary file number. Following the submission of your report, it is reviewed by the Cape Girardeau Police Department Upon review, if further investigation into your case is needed, you may be contacted. Once a report has been appropriately completed and approved, it will be filed with the department's records management system and may be assigned to an officer. We hope this information has been helpful in assisting you with filing an online police report.